Hey everyone! Have you ever seen these robots? They were quite popular a few years ago and when I was younger I always wanted to have one because they could jump. That was something amazing for me. Robot that can jump. It was new, it was exciting, but uh, sadly no one ever bought me one. So yeah. But seriously, if your robot has a mechanism that allows it to jump, it become, becomes much more mobile and can easily overcome obstacles. It doesn't have to be big and heavy to simply climb stairs or curbs. And I thought it might be an interesting project to build such a robot. So in this video we will focus only on jump mechanism and in future videos I might improve it and build the whole body of the robot. So this is going to be the part one. Okay, so at first I tried to understand how the original jumping sumo mechanism works and it turned out to be quite simple. There were just two springs one motor with big gearbox that ensure big torque and this one wheel that uh, that compresses the spring and that's basically all and at this point i could just straight up copy this mechanism because there were even some files online but it would be boring and not creative so i decided to design my own mechanism okay so here we are in fusion 360 and i'm going to show you my design and at first i want to mention that it's going to work like electric airsoft gun like that and here we have most important pieces this is pinion gear and a rack and the uh, pinion gear have five teeth here and here and uh, later when you print the parts you need to print this part and add linear guides and springs so when pinion gear rotates, it can compress compress the springs and later release them. And next part is body. This is the part that hold, holds pinion gear and you need to place 3 mm shaft in this hole. And later you need to print gearbox mounts they are basically going to hold other gears and we have this gear this is the smallest one it's connected to the pinion gear later we have this one that's the biggest one and uh, here we have that and the last one is the smallest one and it connects to this small motor so this small motor should compress those two big springs because of that gearbox because there will be high torque and uh, you also need to place rest of the shafts all of them are three millimeters okay here they are and the last parts are the spring mounts and the last part is a brake and you need to place something soft here because otherwise this back piece with rack will just shoot out of this mechanism when released and that's basically all that I'm going to show you how to assemble it and how it works
Okay, so I put the whole mechanism together and it's quite light as it weighs only 120 grams and that's a good thing. And uh, the last thing we can do is to test how it works. I prepared this plastic bottle that the mechanism should strongly push back and uh, let's see. Whoa, that was quite powerful. Okay, so overall I'm very happy with this project. It's light, it's strong, it's powerful, so exactly as it should be. But in the future I might make some upgrades, for example I can change the gear ratio so it would be faster because it's pretty slow. Or maybe I could add more springs because torque is very high already and the more springs would make it stronger, more powerful. But uh, for now it works, it's great. You can download this project from the link in the description. And thank you for watching. In the next video I'm going to focus on the body of the robot. I would or I would add wheels and Arduino, motor drivers, all that stuff. So again, thank you for watching and see ya.